How's it going, guys? This is Holly with Grindworks, and today we are talking about the top five best EDC knives for under $25. At Grindworks, we love talking about budget knives. That is the majority of what we do, and so I have picked out what I think are some of the best options you can get in that price range. So first off, we have this knife from Cold Steel. This is the Cold Steel ProLite Sport. It is $21.99 currently on the site. It's got a total length of eight inches with a three and a half inch blade. That is 4116 steel, drop point style, flat grind, and a stone wash finish. Opens with a thumb hole. This here is a GFN handle, which is basically a polymer that's textured, pretty tough, but also lightweight. Um, it does have a lock back or Cold Steel's famous triad lock, which is one of the most reliable locks you can get in the industry. We also have a reversible tip up carry pocket clip. Looks like it can go on both sides there. This thing weighs in at only 3.2 ounces, despite being, you know, a fairly large knife. So I feel like it isn't gonna weigh you down very much. And there is a heck of a lot that this knife can do. It's pretty comfortable. Um, I especially like this, I don't know what you wanna call that almost like a thumb choil on the spine of the blade that kind of lets you choke up. If you know anything about cold steel, they are all about making really tough, really battle ready knives. So if you're really rough on your knives, this is a good option for you. Another option, if you're looking for something that isn't quite so large, is the K-Bar Dozer Hunter. This knife is only $19.99 right now. It is seven and a quarter inches long overall with a three inch blade. Uh, this is Oz 8A steel a drop point blade with a hollow grind, and then we've got a satin finish, and you can see that it opens with a thumb stud there. Interesting thing about this is that that is a reversible thumb stud. You can unscrew that and flip it around to the other side if you uh, want this to be more lefty friendly. This is a textured Zytel handle, which is another type of polymer, very lightweight, but um, known for its strength. Um, gives some pretty good grip. It is also a lockback. And it also has a reversible tip up carry pocket clip can go on either side there. 2.2 ounces. So just an absolute featherweight when it comes to, you know, how much real estate and how much weight it's gonna contribute to your EDC, but an unbeatable price. It's a good size. Um, it's a great steal for the price, Oz8. Um, very comfortable in hand. And for me having smaller hands, um, I definitely say I prefer this to the ProLite. Just more accessible size for me personally. Got some nice jimping on the spine of the blade there. Nice and slender. Just a great design overall. And that hollow grind is gonna make it uber slicey. So no matter how you break it down, it seems like this one has quite a few things going for it. So next up, let's take a look at this Gerber Paralyte folder. This one is also $19.99 on the site right now. It is 7.10 inches long with a three inch blade. This is a 5CR15 MOV drop point blade. Uh, this also has a hollow grind um, and this really interesting bronze finish with, as you can see, a thumb stud opener. Um, we've got a stainless steel handle here with a black finish. It is a frame lock. Uh, don't see frame locks in this price range very often. And then we've also got tip down carry pocket clip. There is only one position for that pocket clip. It's 3.45 ounces. Um, and overall, I really like the design of this knife. I'm a huge fan of the fact that it's a frame lock. Frame locks are probably my favorite lock type. Uh, the action is very smooth. The lockup is good. I like this really slim profile and I really like the open construction with the matching barrel spacers in there. So if you want something that's gonna be, you know, easy to clean, lightweight in your pocket, a frame lock, I mean, 20 bucks, really, really hard to beat all of that in this price range. Okay, next up, we've got this really interesting M&P M2.0 dual action folder, also $19.99 on the site right now. It does take a little bit of a flick to get it open with that flipper or the thumb stud. We've got a total length of seven and a half inches with a three inch blade. This is a Warncliffe blade, another hollow grind with a black finish. And as you saw, it has both a thumb stud and a flipper. Nice to have both options there. We've got an aluminum handle here with stainless steel liners. You can see the liner lock there has pretty good lockup. Um, and then it does have a deep carry tip up pocket clip, which 
may be reversible. It's hard to tell for sure, but it looks like you may be able to switch that around if you prefer to have it on the other side. We've also got a glass breaker here. So this is definitely a knife meant for more tactical applications. Um, it's five ounces overall, 5.05 ounces. Now it has a really interesting double action feature. If I close it up here, you may have noticed it has a safety switch right there. And if you just disengage that, it basically turns this knife into a spring assisted knife and it opens very quickly, very effortlessly. So if you're somebody who works in, you know, some kind of first responders field, I could see this being a useful knife for you. You can get it open quickly. It's got the glass breaker. It's tough. It's a little heftier, um, would probably do well in a gloved hand, but you also have the option of just keeping it a normal folder. So really cool design there. Let's see that again. I mean, you barely touch on that thing and it goes flying. Very cool design. So lastly, we have what I have to admit is my favorite knife on the table. This is from Elite Tactical. It is the 1027 GN G10 folder, $22.99 on the site right now. It is just under eight inches overall, 7.875 to be exact, uh, a 3.375 inch blade. So not a little knife. It has an 8CR13 blade, tanto shape, flat grind, gray finish, uh, partially serrated with a thumb stud opener. Does have G10 handle scales with a stainless steel bolsters um, as well as stainless steel liners. And then it has a tip up deep carry pocket clip. I'm a particular fan of this pocket clip, how they had it follow the shape of the handle and made sure to keep it out of the way of that lanyard hole. Pretty interesting. This is four ounces overall. And the thing that really sets it apart is this rapid lock. So this design was made famous by Benchmade. It really allows for very easy one-handed closing of your knife. And with the ball bearings and that pivot, it just makes it super smooth. It's a very popular design because it makes it so much easier to open and close. If you want to, you don't even have to use the thumb stud. So I would say out of all the knives on this table, even though there are some that you can get for a couple dollars less, I'd say this is the big, the best bang for your buck. I mean, the steel you're getting, the design, the function, that really cool rapid lock, all of those things are super on point, $22.99. Like it really doesn't get much better than that. So this is my pick for best EDC knife under $25. I'd love to hear from you guys uh, because I know having just scoured the site for everything in that price range, there is so much to choose from. I tried to find a good variety. You know, we got some lockbacks, frame lock, liner lock, rapid lock, but I'd love to hear from you. Those of you who are pros, so to speak, in the budget knife world, let me know. What's your favorite knife under $25? Drop it in the comments below so we can all benefit from your expertise. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Make sure you're subscribed and you hit that notification bell so you're the first to know when a new video drops. All of these knives will be linked in the description below and you can always jump on grindworks.com and look at all the awesome budget knives we have available there. Thanks so much for watching guys. See you next time.